In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this capsule pill mesh. Let's create a UV sphere. R to rotate. In edit mode, shift Z to wireframe view and 3 to face select. Let's select the faces on the right side and remove them. A to select all. G and X to move on the X axis while holding control. 2 to edge select. Alt select the end edge to select the edge loop. E to extrude while holding control. Now we can select the faces on the left and move them away on the X axis like this. I think that was too long. Let's reduce the length. Shift D to duplicate and R to rotate. S to scale. Control 3 to subdivide. I'll apply random materials. The one on the right needs to be transparent. Let's shift select the meshes and align their bottoms with the world center. I'll shift select the meshes and control J to join them. Let's create a particle mesh that will be placed inside the joined mesh. Let's add a particle emitter to the joined mesh. We need to emit from the volume, but how do we go about containing the particles only within the mesh? If I play the animation, the meshes will start to drop right through the mesh. There are various methods to resolve this issue. One is to duplicate the joined mesh and make particles real in frame 1, before they start to drop. 
Both collision and rigid body physics won't work here. The easiest trick is to set the end frame to 1, so the particles still freeze within the joint mesh. Once we make the particles real by pressing a button on the particle modifier, we need to manually remove overlapping spheres. It's easier to keep the emission number low, and duplicate and rotate the particle meshes later. Type M to make a new collection. We need to manually remove the overlapping spheres. Let's remove the particle meshes on the left side first. Now that we have a clean set of inner particles, let's select them, duplicate them, and rotate them like this. I'll use the sky texture.
I'll use 16 samples to save time. Please use at least 128 samples to get the best looking result. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.